Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Integrating IBM Integration Bus and WebSphere Business Monitor. This is part four in this series of videos and we'll deal with testing. This chart lists all the topics in this four part video series. This fourth video will demonstrate testing and will show how to generate test messages for the IBM Integration Bus application and how to view the results in the monitor dashboard. So let's get started. The first step is to bounce WAS to pick up the configuration changes we made in the previous step in this series. After WAS has stopped, restart it. Click here to log back into the WAS Admin Console. The next step is to verify that the MDB listener is running. And the next step is to verify that the WBM, MDB, and the Monitor Model applications are all running. The next step is to open the Business Monitor Dashboard. Open the Business Monitor Dashboard. Click Login. Click Manage Spaces. Click the new monitor space. Note that this is automatically defined when we installed the monitor application. Note that we have no data to view in that we haven't processed any messages yet. Next step, in the IIB machine, use MQ Explorer to verify the monitor subscription has been automatically created. Expand the IIB Q Manager tree. Click Subscriptions. Note that our subscription has been generated. The next step is to send some messages into the flow to emit events. I'm using the RFHUtil tool to do this. Click the right Q button. Perform this step multiple times to generate some messages. Next step, we're now back on the WBM machine, so let's look at the monitor dashboard. Click the orange arrow in the top right hand corner. Click refresh. Note that we now have several instances of data from our application. Click Template KPI Context. Note also that we now have the KPI view for our metrics. In summary, this completes the testing video of the IIB integration with the Business Monitor. This also is the final video in this series of support videos. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.